What's up guys, this is TechNuba here and today I'm going to be reviewing a theme called iPure HD which is available on Themeit and Cydia for only $2. Now this theme is only compatible with the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation even though the description says it's compatible with only the iPhone 4. The only problem is that either the FaceTime app and some other images uh, will not be rendered or viewed when you're on the device. Also, I'm running this under iOS 4.2.1, so some images may not appear that should have been appeared in previous iPhone uh, firmware. So, what I'm trying to say is that maybe this theme was optimized for the iOS 4.1, and uh, I'm running this theme under 4.2.1, which has some few file changes that uh, may affect the theme's over overlook. So, we're going to head straight to what we have right here right now so in the home screen you can see that it pretty much themed all of the stock icons and the app icons as long as the Cydia icons too some of them may not be rendered but hopefully um, the author or the theme creator could uh, fix that in an upcoming theme update to fix that so as you can see here there's a uh, folder theme at the background. Now some of you guys who already bought the theme may not get that and I'll post instructions in the video description on how to fix that. You just gotta leave four files off your iFile <coughs> app. Sorry. So as you can see here we're gonna go to SMS messages and the first thing you can see is that there's a loading screen and that's pretty much what's gonna be on most of the stock I icons. So right here I'm having a conversation with myself Pretty nice. Calendar, photos, camera, pretty much their stock themes. Themed, maps. Let's go to weather. Loading screen. Very nice loading screen. So you can see here there the weather results and the weather background is also uh, themed. iTunes, App Store. Let's go to App Store. So you can see there the little. Uh, Taskbar at the bottom, we can uh, select the category. Yeah, as you can see here, as long as it loads, come on. All right, as you can see here, the apps are already uh, themed, and that's because of an auto create icon. <coughs> as you can see, the batch also is themed, so that's pretty nice. Let's go to our theme folders again to show you that all the app store icons are themed as you can see here right now pretty nice also the uh, multitask bar is also themed too as you can see here in the bottom the background the orientation lock the little uh, iPod function keys and everything else nice game center settings I Facebook even Facebook is also customized let's go to phone as you can see here, the phone dial is also customized. So uh, let me make a phone call to a random number, 542. Alright, call. As you can see here, even the little options here is also um, customized. So you can put speaker or FaceTime, even though it's blanked. Contacts, keypad, even though the keypad's not really themed. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Go in here. Um, clock. Let's go to clock. As you can see there, um, not yet themed. A little off and on. Options is also themed. Calculator. Not themed. <laughs> Probably pointing out the bad stuff about it too. But I'm just going over the few things that are not themed and themed from the But what is theme is the loading screen, which is kind of nice. Um, I guess I'll just stop there because I'm probably going to make it look bad. Let's go to Safari. As you can see there, the, the Safari page is already themed. The background is not, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, hopefully he'll, like I said, fix it in the upcoming theme update for this uh, iPure HD theme. So let's go to Bookmark.
as you can see there the pretty much select you see when I select something it highlights it the highlighter uh, images is also themed I don't know why the URL bar is not themed but the uh, Google search bar is also themed too pretty nice um, what else can I say? Also, this theme does not have the iAccess keyboard nor an SBS, well, SB settings theme either. The status bar has also been themed, as you can see there. There's the the reception I have so far, which I can't really show you the five bar because I'm not really in a good location to have such a great signal. As you can see there, spotlight search bar has been themed. Yada yada yada. And also, this has a uh, battery thing when, whenever you connect it. So let me just turn that thing on. As you can see, the little lock screen slider is also themed. There's no slide to unlock, and there you go. You can see the battery at the background. Lock info has pretty much graded out because of this uh, little image bar here. But uh, yeah, it has a little battery indicator for your uh, iDevice. Let's take a look at the wallpapers that's already installed onto the theme. So you can see there's seven. Pretty much select like whatever you want. I'm gonna set this as a home screen. And voila. So in conclusion, this is a very good theme. Even though it's missing a few things like uh compass or the clock at the background it's a very great theme for only two bucks it's well enough worth it it'll be more worth it if it's an uh, IX theme or a uh, SBS settings theme too but regardless it's a very nice theme for people who like grayish or whitish type of themes on their iDevice iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation specifically but um, yeah I think it's really worth it I enjoy the work that's being put into this theme and uh, I'll give it a 4 out of 5 but uh, that's about it, guys. If you enjoyed this theme, please like. If you have more recommendations of other things you might be working on, please send me a message. But uh, anything else, just post it in the comments. And uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any more questions, you know, just send me anything. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.